Hey guys, this is Machibi Maxson again and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to make a bootable USB Ubuntu uh, to make a bootable USB Ubuntu pen drive and it's been a while since I, uh, since I uploaded a video on my YouTube channel and that's because I was working on a project I had to buy a server I'll tell you all about that if I make a video about that project so right now what you're going to need for this video to make a bootable USB of Ubuntu uh, you're going to need a USB at least 4 gigs but 2 gigs could work as well because Ubuntu is a really small operating system and download the latest version or any version of Ubuntu could work but right now I'm going to be demonstrating using a, a, the latest version of Ubuntu which is 16.04 uh, by now it's the latest version and it's July 16 of 2016 and this is a 64-bit ISO file and any any if 64-bit or 32-bit this would work for both of them and I have a I guess it's a SanDisk yeah 8 gig pen drive of SanDisk which I'm gonna be using for this video it's formatted but it doesn't need to be formatted as long as you make sure all the data on it you don't need it because it's gonna be formatted and its file system is going to be changed as well so all you're going to need another thing you're going to need is the terminal because today you're going to be working in the terminal completely so to open up terminal you can just search it terminal, and just press enter and it would open up and before we go into the terminal uh, I'm gonna change my Ubuntu file name so that it would be easier to write in terminal. I'm, I'm going to simply name it Ubuntu. I highly recommend you do this because writing that entire full name in the terminal is going to take a lot of time. So I just made it shorter so that I can type it easily. And to start with, I'm going to check if my drive is recognized in the disk utility. And to use disk utility in the command line, all you're going to have to do is press... Uh, okay, sorry. Just type in disk util and I'm gonna put a command called list so that it can list all the available drives. And as you can see, it's in here and it's dev, it's in dev forward slash disk2 and it's formatted as those fat 32 and its name is Muchibi. So after you check that, you're gonna need to unmount it from the operating system so that you can. Uh, so that you can write on it when it's not mounted in the operating system. Uh, so to do this, write this util, this util, and mount disk, and disk should be in capital. The D for disk should be in capital. And mount disk, and then write the location for the disk, and it's in dev forward slash disk two. And just press enter. And it will show you an amount of all volumes on disk 2 was successful. And as you can see, my my USB has disappeared from my desktop. And from there on, I'm just going to... Uh, what we should do next is we should write the ISO file onto the, onto the USB pen drive. And to do that, you're going to have to write sudo. Uh, sudo and just write dd if equals to the whatever location your ISO file is in, but mine is on desktop, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for okay, users, wait, what's slash users? I can't type today. <laughs> forward slash Machibi Maxon, because that's my main user, and I'm gonna go desktop because mine is on desktop. Then I'm going to go forward slash ubuntu.iso. But if your file was longer, you would have to write that entire file name and then put dot i dot .iso on the end, at the end of it. So ma by making it shorter, it's simpler to write. And after that, you put a space and just write if equals uh, the drive you want to write on, which is forward slash dev forward slash disk2. And after that, you should write bs equals 1m uh you don't need to understand what that does but it just 
uh, that means that it's gonna be written with one MB file or something like that. So right now, after writing this, you should just simply write enter and then enter your password. It will look like you're not entering anything, but if you have ever entered a password in the command line, you will already know this. It's a security measure so that no one can see this, the length of your password as you type it. So after you type the correct password, you should press enter. And I've got an error. Okay, I need to see where I went wrong. Uh, sudo dd if illegal argument combination already set okay made a mistake right here okay uh i was supposed to write of i wrote if here at the end of the disk so to choose the disk you're supposed to write of not if so i wrote if two times so after i write that and make that sure that's right you should just press enter for the second time it won't ask for your password because it already knows that that's you and it will look like it's it's frozen the cursor will stop moving and it will be there so you just wait and wait for it to get done mine took around 11 minutes yeah yeah it took 11 minutes for for the first time i did this to complete before i started making making this video so uh i'm gonna include all of these commands and some in instructions in the description below so if you didn't hear what i said or you can't see properly for some reason you should check my description my in the descriptions and all the commands are included there so i'm gonna pause this video because i want to show you how it looks like when it's done until this is done and i'm gonna go to pause and pause this uh, so guys I was gonna pause this through this through and wait for it to complete but I just figured I'm gonna have to sit right here and wait for 11 minutes for this to complete so uh, I saved a screenshot the first time I did this so I'm just gonna show you that screenshot and hope you understand uh, okay I'm gonna minimize this terminal and open up this software I have it's called snap and drag it's probably one of the best softwares I've used for taking screenshots so here's the screenshot I took and as you can see when it's done it will bring this and it will show you the bytes it has transferred and the time it has used. For my, for me it took 670 seconds which, it, which is approximately 11 minutes so I couldn't wait 11, 11 minutes just sitting here waiting, wait for it, for waiting for it to complete. So I just hope this tutorial was helpful for you and it did what you wanted to do. So. I think I'm going to end the video here or maybe I'll add in later while showing you how to test, showing, showing you me testing it. So thanks you guys for watching, but, uh, Hey guys. So I finally decided to show you that the bootable pen drive we created works perfectly. So here's my sun drive that I'm going to be using that we made in Mac OS X. So I'm just going to plug it into my laptop. I have the Dell Vostra. I think it's A806. So I'm just going to power it up. And I'm supposed to press F12 as soon as it comes up because it boots very fast. Yeah, and then I'm supposed to choose uh, what's this USB device storage. You know, and as you can see. Ubuntu is booting up just fine. If we could wait for it. As you can see, there you go. Wait a minute. Okay. Let's see it. As you can see, Ubuntu is booting up perfectly. Dang. And. I hope the audio quality ain't that bad because I'm using my iPhone right now. And I think this will be it for this video. Thanks you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.